The Arts Post in Fort St. John is home of the local members of the North Peace Spinners and Weavers Guild. These ladies enjoy the process of the work and the steps taken to make their products and crafts. Debbie has been part of the group for the past four years and really loves what she is doing. What we do here is fiber arts. Pretty much we take any kind of fiber, whether it's wool from sheep or alpacas, llamas, some bison. We can take fibers from plants, such as cotton. We do silk. Once you have decided what you are making, you'll need to choose a fiber. Not all animals, wool, are alike and each individual sheep's wool is slightly different. There's hundreds of different types of sheep. <laughs> some are more recent breeds and some are very, very ancient Here's breeds. Depends on what we want for a product. Sheep are just like people. But some have long, very fine hair. Some have short, curly, crimpy hair. It depends on whether we want something very fine and soft and strong or if we want something like for a couch and sweater, you'd want something very lofty and uh, warm. That's how we choose our wool. Yes, you can buy yarn at the department store, but for knitting, you would never catch these ladies doing that because they have too much fun making it. A lot of it we have to start at the beginning, like picking out the sheep we want up at Corfman's up in Montney. That's a lot of fun. We do that every May, go up and, and have a lot of fun at their sharing time. We take the wool, we wash it, we dry it, we clean it, card it, which is what this does. It's just brooming out all the stuff and making it softer and fluffy. While Debbie uses the table carter, Mary chooses to use a bit slower method. Still, both will have the same results. What I'm doing here is just using the hand cards and people who grew up years ago may remember doing this for their parents as children. So it's basically uh, lining the fibers so that they can be spun more easily. I've got it carded, now I'm just going to make a little roll egg. I roll it up like this, and I end up with a little roll egg like that, which is, makes it easier for me to draft as I spin. And if you look at it as I'm stretching it out, it's drafting the, the fibers out to spin, because what the wheel will do is just spin the wool like that, but it will do it a lot faster. Once you are finished carding, it is time to spin the wool on the spinning wheel and onto the bobbin. Um, from that, we make our fibers. And then from there, the sky is the limit. We could use the looms for weaving. We knit, crochet, just about anything you can think of to make any kind of clothing. The fun part is it, it's a very ancient, universal art. Uh, everything that people had was started off with spindles, which is basically a stick with a hoop on the end of it, or a disc. Well, there were no Walmarts. You didn't throw away anything, you mended it all because when you look at the time invested in creating the things we create, you realize there's value to it and it lasts for a very long time. It's also wonderful about the peace area. Just about anything that we could use, we can find here in the peace area. If you are interested in joining the group or looking for more information, contact Renee at 250-261. 5541. The North Peace Spinners and Weavers Guild are busy preparing for their upcoming show at Peace Gallery North, April 11th to the 25th. For Go Peace Country, I'm Diane Townsend.